Right, thousands of people are waiting to hear if their homes are still standing. It's been 48 hours now since so many people were forced to leave in the middle of the night. CBS 13's Ryan Hill is live in Vacaville, where many evacuees have gathered to try to wait it out. Ryan. Yeah, that's right. The man we spoke to is kind of like these people over here, just sitting anxiously and waiting to find out if their home is still standing, nervous what they may find in the rubble. I'll miss my photos. I'll miss, uh, you know, some of the gifts my kids made as, uh, you know, as children, but, and the cats. Chris Bandy is sitting in this Lowe's parking lot, not waiting to shop, but waiting to find out what's left of his Vacaville home. A friend of mine, uh, went up yesterday. I don't know how she got up there, but she went up to save my cats if she could find them. Uh, took some photos and the house is gone. Ben out the flames were rolling towards his home while on shift at Kaiser Vacaville. He has yet to see the damage in person and knows his friends have his back. Within hours, I had 20 places I could stay. You know, uh, my own room, you know, in, at every of all my friends' homes and so it just the, the outreach there. They're also reaching out to Chris to help him find anything left standing from the fire. Chris hopes to find those old gifts in his 85 class ring from West Point. I asked the Army and Air Force Reserve veteran what it would mean to find a piece of his past amid the rubble. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't want to think about that. <sighs> Others like Devin Hawkins are thinking about their homes in places like hotels. Her dad and her brother stayed behind to fight the fire and create fire lines to help save their home. She hasn't been back, not knowing how home looks after evacuating. I'm just going to be grateful that it's still there and that, you know, that my story is one of inconvenience and not one of loss. I have a friend that did lose everything and so it's, it's terrifying to see all of that. But Bandy will be soon seeing all of that damage that he had. He says that he's getting a, a group of friends together to try to coordinate and head on up to his house to see if they can salvage anything that's in that rubble.